Namaste yogis and welcome to my channel Primal Health Yoga. I'm Linda. So in this next video practice, a short 20 minute practice, we're going to work through the classic sun salutation, starting nice and gently and then building some pace as we go along with a few nice twists and turns to detox along the way. So please click and subscribe if you like the video and stay updated for all my future videos. Thanks for watching. Welcome everyone. Let's come to a nice wide knee child's pose. Bring the palms to the mat. Lengthen the spine from the tailbone and then slowly begin to slide the palms forward. Getting a nice deep stretch through the arms. Allowing everything to settle and perhaps coming up onto the finger pads. Getting a deeper reach and a deeper stretch through the arms. Taking some nice breaths into the base of the spine, drawing all the way up the full length of the spine and exhaling out through the arms, reaching and stretching. Finding your nasal breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Relaxing your chest towards the floor. A nice active child's pose. And slowly we're gonna slide forward into a little cobra. And on the exhale, tuck the toes and push the hips and buttocks back to the heels, forehead down to the floor. And just then pushing yourself into a lazy down dog and pedaling out through the legs. Opening through the backs of the knees. And then holding the dog still, inhale, rise high to the tippy toes. As we exhale, we're gonna wave forward through rounded upper back into plank. Exhale, drop the knees and push back to a spinal stretch. Inhaling and exhale, push back into down dog. Inhale, rise high onto the tippy toes again. Draw the belly in, exhale as you wave forward through a rounded upper back and come to plank. Exhale, drop the knees, chest, chin and slide with the breath into cobra. Tuck the toes and push back into spinal stretch, forehead to the floor. And again, exhale, pushing into down dog Pedal out through the legs. Inhale, rise high to the toes. And exhale, wave forward into plank. Holding now. And then exhale, we're going to push back through a deep squat into down dog. And just settling in, pedaling the legs a little, opening the backs of your knees. Keep the belly drawn in. Find your breath. Inhale, stepping to the top into flat back, hands to knees. And exhale, let's fold, bow forward and slowly begin to unfurl the spine all the way to the top. Inhale, exhale, release your hands down to the heart center. Prayers at the heart center. And inhale, take a breath in as we rise up, maybe a gentle back bend. Exhale, folding forward with bent knees. Inhale to flat back. 
and exhale stepping the right leg back and drop the knee equestrian pose inhale draw the chest forward on the exhale we'll step back into plank with the left leg and release knees chest chin chaturanga inhale into cobra and exhale pushing all the way back into down dog inhale let's lift the right leg high exhale stepping it to the top drop the left knee this time come forward into equestrian and on the exhale stepping the left foot up to the right and bow forward inhale beginning to rise arms up and out to the side and releasing samasthiti other side inhale rising exhale folding bent knees inhale to flat back exhale step the left foot back and drop the knee equestrian pose draw the chest forward inhale exhale step back into plank release knees chest chin and slide into cobra exhale push back into down dog inhale the left leg up nice and high exhale stepping it to the top right knee down and draw the chest forward inhale exhale stepping up bow forward and inhale as you rise up and maybe a flowing back bend exhale hands to heart center standing for a little moment in tadasana our mountain pose root and ground through the feet hands in prayer at the heart center and let's flow through this again let's inhale the arms up and back exhale bow forward knees bent inhale flat back exhale step the right foot back drop the knee inhale chest forward Exhale, step back to plank, release knees, chest, chin, chest, and into cobra. Exhale, pushing back into down dog. Lift the right leg up, stepping to the top, left knee down. And stepping up with the left, bow forward. Inhale as you rise, gentle back bend. And flowing straight to the other side inhale flat back exhale step the left foot back drop the knee draw chest forward exhale bring the right back and release knees chest chin cobra pushing all the way back into down dog draw the leg up and stepping up to the top drop the other knee and rising to the top bow forward inhale rising gentle back bend exhale to the heart center and release other side inhale flat back exhale step the right leg back and draw the left leg drop knees chest chin into cobra exhale pushing all the way back to down dog inhale right leg stepping to the top left knee down and stepping left knee to right bow forward inhale swooping up gentle back bend exhale folding forward again inhale to flat back exhale step the left leg back drop the knee step back with the right release knees chest chin into cobra and push back into down dog inhale the right leg stepping to the top drop the left knee and stepping to the top as you bow forward inhale rising swooping back a little exhale we're folding forward again inhale to flat back exhale right knee back and draw the left release and slide to cobra exhale as you push back inhale right leg up step to the top left knee down and stepping left to right bow forward inhale swooping up and back 
exhale folding inhale flat back exhale left leg back drop the knee chest forward exhale right leg and release knees chest chin into cobra push back into down dog inhale the leg up stepping to the top drop the left knee and stepping up bow forward inhale rising gentle back bend exhale as we release and just take a little moment in Tadasana observing the sensations in the body and allowing the breath to settle smooth in through the nose and out through the nose inhale the arms out into T and exhale bring them behind the back maybe bringing hands into prayer or opposite hand to opposite elbow and let's lift the left leg rooting down through the right stepping back at a slight angle angle the hips forward inhale lift the chest arch the upper back and exhale coming forward towards pyramid pose bring the body parallel to the floor and we'll drop the left hand down, twisting, reaching up through the right. And then the other side, drop the right and stretching, reaching up through the left. Both hands down to either side of the foot. Bow forward, draw the nose towards the knee, drawing left hip forward, right hip back. And then we're going to inhale, lifting up the left leg. And moving gently towards airplane, drawing the arms back, try to lift up the chest more than I did and stepping back into a lovely warrior one, angle the hips to face forward, exhale, find your release through plank, chaturanga, up dog or cobra and pushing back into downward facing dog. Breathing. Inhale, let's step to flat back. Exhale, fold nose to knee. Inhale, rising all the way, arms up and out to the side, a gentle back bend. Exhale, release the hands to the heart center. Bringing the arms into T again and behind into prayer. And this time we'll root through the left sole, lift the right leg and holding before we step it back wobbling is okay find your balance rooting through the standing leg and then slowly we'll step it back at an angle angle hips to face forward lift the chest arch the upper back with the belly drawn in begin to bow forward coming to a flat back parallel to the floor trying to even out the hips left hip moving back drop the right hand twisting reaching up through the left and the opposite drop the left and stretch up through the right and bring both hands down to frame the foot draw your nose to knee again evening out through the hips if you can and then we're going to lift the leg as high as we can that right leg push through the left standing leg and then lifting the arms back moving towards a wobbly airplane just do your best lifting up the chest and then stepping back into warrior one angle our hips to face forward reach up through the arms and slowly release palms to the floor step back through plank chaturanga up dog and releasing into downward facing dog finding your breath pointing the tailbone up to the sky begin to bend the knees and see can you hop or step through two seated just doing your best here and then slowly we'll draw the legs out straight 
find our sitting bones. Inhale the arms up, pointing through the fingers. Exhale, reaching forward, coming towards our forward bend, Paschimottanasana. Trying to lengthen forwards and down, lengthening out of the tailbone. And then coming back up, bring the hands behind the buttocks, fingertips pointing to the buttocks. And on the exhale, lifting the hips and buttocks up, trying to draw your soles towards the floor. And slowly release, coming back to cross-legged and we'll move up and over onto all fours. So here we're going to come towards tripod headstand, bringing the hands flat to the mat. See, can you creep your tippy toes as far forward as you can until you feel like you're stacking your hips over your waist and then pressing into the palms of your hands. So we're trying to straighten the legs a little more. So mine are still a little crooked here. I think I'm pushing and then release when you're ready. Taking a nice stretch forward through the arms. And slowly let's come forward. Tuck back and bring the forehead down towards the mat. And slowly begin to rise all the way up. And again, we'll come to the buttocks, walk forward on your mat. And we'll slowly begin to release our spine to the floor, bringing your hands to your knees, round through the upper back, belly is in, and coming down one vertebrae at a time. And stretching through the toes and through the fingers, reaching. Hug your knees in and give your lower back a nice massage. Really pressing the back into the mat. We'll bring the arms out in cactus, coming towards a spinal twist. Inhale, we'll drop the knees out to the left and send the gaze in the opposite direction. Feeling that twist happening in the belly, the sides of the waist. Relaxing into the twist. Coming back, inhale the legs back to center and exhale as you drop them over to the right. Turn your gaze in the opposite direction. And just settling in, relaxing with your breath. And slowly drawing everything back to the center. Hug your knees in again and take some nice circles, pushing your lower back into the floor. Ironing out any kinks and then lift your chest and head towards your knees, squeeze tight as you can and release your whole body into Shavasana. So taking time now to feel the full weight of your body as it lets go and releases into the floor. And feel free to press pause here if you'd like to take a nice extended Shavasana. Continuing as long as you like, as long as feels good in your body. Just relaxing everything, all the big joints, releasing into the floor. Feeling the breath nice and smooth and soft and even. And the whole body completely released. So slowly we'll 
Reawaken our body here, taking a nice stretch. Reach the arms, exhale through the mouth. Hug your knees in again and massage down your back. And slowly in your own time, come on to one side in fetal position. And gently when you're ready, just bringing yourself all the way back to seated. And let's draw our hands together in prayer at the heart center. Bring the prayer to the third eye chakra. Exhale and release. Namaste. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.